from business it's time to learn some proper english pronunciations brian our guest anchor is still in the studio he's going to be joining us shortly uh willis it's great to see you this evening looking sharp in black and uh <laughs> I'm sure you've been watching uh, Brian, our guest anchor. He's left so many people inspired. <laughs> well, that is uh, an inspiration mm. of a kind. Mm. And uh, I have also to say, Betty, yeah. it's uh, good news to hear that Michael Karanja, uh, <laughs> something happening about tying the nuptial knot. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Michael Karanja, our business editor, is getting hitched tomorrow. But let's get straight to our business, Williston. I want us to start with uh, our tough word on the street. Listen to this one, Willis, be ready. Furora. 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 Furo. Faro. Puroleri, 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 Paroa, 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 Furore, Furore, Fura, 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 Furore, 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 Furari. Curari. Fro, fro. Fore, fore. Buloa. Bulore, bulore, bulore. <laughs> okay, Willis. Um, that was a tough word, Willis. Frora. <laughs> I think I've had all kinds of words of pronunciations. Will you well, tell us? <laughs> Betty, this is a tricky word and you know, it can beat anybody depending on how conversant one is with the word. We have two acceptable pronunciations for the word and one can say furo, that is furo, and one can also say furori, furori. So, furo or furori. All the other versions uh, some of them, of course, they're understandable, Betty. <laughs> All right, Willis, got it. You're the teacher here. I would have said something like Furora. Um, <laughs> but moving on to another word, Willis, and I'll spell this one for our viewers, and it's R-E-S-C-I-N-D. Resined, resined. How do we go about that one? Oh, Betty, you mm. say resined. Okay. Resined. Resined. To resined. Or what we should avoid is resigned rescind got it willis now willis this week actually yesterday there was a very serious plight from uh, farmers in kisumu and they were reacting to some issues in uh, their farms and i want to you to listen to someone who was giving uh, his opinion on the street and uh, let's play the video and hear what he said in that particular clip willis In fact, if you can see these farmers, they are aggravated, they are irritated, they are very annoyed, they are disillusioned, they are thrown into imbroglio. <laughs> right, Willis, that word, imbrog, imbroglio, that, you know... <laughs> You know, how do we go about that one, Willis? Tell us what it means and uh, what's the pronunciation? Is it what he said? He was Betty. very mad. Betty, you'll tell me why you brought that, but uh, whichever way, <laughs> that's very interesting. Yeah. <laughs> the word is imbroglio, imbroglio, and uh, whichever way, uh, why the friend or our friend chose to use that word, <laughs> you see, when you talk of imbroglio, yes. you are talking about, you know, a complicated situation, okay. uh, usually that is a political situation, and it causes confusion, embarrassment, or uncertainty, right. but uh, the way it was brought by our friend there, <laughs> I have no other words to talk about it. <laughs> All right, so it's imbroglio. The G is silent. Imbroglio. All right. Imbroglio, yes. Im okay, great. 
Moving on to another word. Now, this is a word that, uh, you know, we see especially in restaurants. And um, do we say mayonnaise? Mayonnaise? This is another difficult word, Willis. I've had various pronunciations on this one. You say may. Mayonnaise. Okay. Mayonnaise. mayonnaise and the informal yes. form of that word betty m-a-y-o mm -hmm. yes. we should not say mayo you mm -hmm. say mayo but mayo. the word which is formal or standard is mayonnaise mayonnaise got it willis moving on to yeah, this uh, moving on to another word willis now uh, do we say prejudice prejudice how do we go about that one you say prejudice Okay. Prejudice, All not right. prejudice. When people see ICE, they uh -huh. think it's prejudice, which is wrong. We uh -huh. say prejudice, hostis, uh -huh. notice, justice, okay. novice, so we don't say ice and willies for All that right. matter. All right, willies, that's a surprise, so we do not say hospice, but hospice. No, you say hospice. All right, got it, willies. Novice, too. Moving on to another word, and uh, it's a word that we know as either homogeneous, homogeneous. Is that which, which is which, Willis? You say homogeneous, genius, oh. not genius, uh -huh. genius, right. homogeneous, heterogeneous. Mm -hmm. All right, Willis, got it. Let's now uh, take a look at our feedback question, and it's Tony Kilonzo who wants to know this word. I'll spell it out. C-R-E-M-A-T-I-O-N. What we know as cremation. Is that the correct pronunciation? The T letter E takes the pure vowel sound E. Cre, mm -hmm. not cre. Mm -hmm. You say cremation. Okay. Cremation. cremation. Crematorium. Not okay. crematorium. Uh -huh. Not cremation. Right. Cremation. Cremation, yes. crematorium. Got it, Willis. Now, do we have any surprise word from you, Willis? You surprised us, us with the imbroglio. <laughs> any other surprise word, Willis? Well, Betty, from my side, uh, when we talk of an entertainer uh -huh. who makes people laugh, yes. or uh, normally, you know, they do funny things. If they're not making people laugh by mm -hmm. telling jokes or mm -hmm. funny stories, they mm -hmm. may be, you know, mimicking other people. Many people pronounce that word as comedian. Uh -huh. So and so is a comedian, which yes. is wrong. Mm -hmm. Comedian, no. Mm -hmm. We say comedian. comedian. The correct or acceptable pronunciation is comedian. But comedian. comedy mm -hmm. is comedy. All right. Comedy, All right. comedian. All right. Comedian is the correct pronunciation. Will, it's always a pleasure <laughs> having you on the show. Teaching us those difficult words, and I see you have some more. Tell us about them. <laughs> yes, I have, uh, as usual, I have something here. Yes. We have the first word, that is the upper one, mm -hmm. is ko. Uh -huh. Ko. Ko. But the second one, we say cho. All right. Cho, that is when we are talking about task. Uh -huh. Cho. All right. Upper one, ko. ko. So we should always know which is which. All right. So thank you, Willis, for the effort. You are just like a teacher. You know, teachers like to show you <laughs> so that you understand <laughs> our pronunciation genius. My Thank pleasure, you very much. <laughs> well, it's the word master. They are coming to us live from Kisumu County, teaching us those difficult pronunciations, the tricky ones like imbroglio or rescind. You can always get him right here on KTM Friday Briefing. Um, of course, he's going to be here next Friday, God willing. Let's take a look at some sports.